Wasstube. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel about cross stitch and my name is Amy and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're a returning subscriber, I so appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing and all your wonderful comments and tuning in every week. So this week I uh, went um, last Sunday evening to um, the Phoenix Theater and they have an outdoor setup with like these big lawn chair type chairs and they're set up in groups of two more than six feet apart on this huge lawn area and they have a huge concert stage set up so you're under the stars um and it was a tribute for Dion War uh, Warwick it's her 80th birthday I think and so they're just singing a band live band playing different songs and singing and concert it was really fun I'll insert a couple pictures here and that was a lot of fun um, I went with some friends over there and uh, they check your temperature as you're going into the concert and yeah everything was like really spaced out in fact um, there was uh, five of us and we couldn't even all sit like side by side because they have groupings of two chairs each um, but anyway it was fun um, we did that and then um, as we're going into Thanksgiving this week my husband we've been trying to do a little extra cleaning and my husband cleaned all the tile the grout oh my gosh it looks amazing um, he had bought a grout cleaner and it wasn't really working and so then he just switched gears and he grabbed the Clorox gel, this like um, in a squirt bottle, like for you to clean like your toilet with. And he just squirted the Clorox gel on the tile grout. And it is like, and then let it sit for a few minutes and then scrubbed it all up. And he did the whole kitchen, dining room, entryway, all of it. And um, it took him like, he did it in sections, like two days. It is like 10 shades lighter. It looks amazing and it smells clean and it's so nice. So if you have a nasty, dirty grout, because I paid when I had my carpets cleaned um, last year, I paid for the tile to be steam cleaned, but from the carpet guy. And it didn't even come as clean as what my husband got. So um, I love it. So I really appreciate him doing that for us. And um, then this week, you know, watching my grandkids, I bought a little kids table with six chairs for Thanksgiving so that my grandkids could sit there and my nephew, great nephew um, and um, great nieces can all sit there and, um, oh no, my nieces. Anyways, the little kids, the little, little kids <laughs> could have a table. I'll put a picture in and it is so cute. And, um, I had it out for my grandkids to, uh, try it out and I could not keep my granddaughter off the top of it. Oh, she just was climbing everything right now. And so you almost, when you watch her have to stay standing because I'm getting her out of the kitchen trash or I'm getting her off the kitchen table. So when she comes over, all of our kitchen table chairs are outside. We have to put the trash in the laundry room, close the door. We have to put, I mean, like everything under five feet has to be removed or put away. <laughs> but, um, she's super cute. So I got that table this week. I, um, ordered off Amazon. Um, I decided not to decorate for Christmas yet uh, because I do love fall decor and um, I'm going to have a Christmas party so I know that they'll get to see my tree and all the fun stuff but I know that as soon as Thanksgiving is over, if not that night, the next day, I'm going to be putting my Christmas out like immediately because I want to enjoy it uh, as long as possible. But um a lot of you said they you wait and a lot of you said this year you're putting it out early so it definitely was almost like 50 50. um and so i ordered on amazon some fall leaves garlands and i'm going to put those across the um tables i got some cream tablecloths and i'm going to put that over them and i got some disposable i usually use my china at thanksgiving but i don't feel like doing all the dishes, the cleanup on all that this year. So I ordered some hard plastic disposable plates that have like this gold, pretty gold leaf trim around the um, 
the ring of the plate and the silverware is plastic but it's gold and the napkins match and I think it will look really fancy even though it's um, disposable. So I got that um, ordered and it came already. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I just need to go grocery shopping, get the last of the items I need for our Thanksgiving and uh, start doing a little more cleaning, uh, you know, the bathroom and stuff. Um, what else? Um, oh, I, last week on my video, I had asked about stuffing versus dressing and why um, it's called stuffing or why it's called dressing. And a lot of you um, thought that was a great question. You didn't know, <laughs> which I'm glad I'm in good company. Um, but and then um, some of you did kind of comment one, what you guys call it and stuff. So I have a couple of comments I wanted to read to you. Um, let's see. Uh, Jill said that um, her mom always said dressing and she assumed it was because she was British, but um, she liked my theory about it being cooked outside of the turkey and um, served on the side. And then as far as pop versus soda, I was asking, do you call it pop? Do you call it soda? Is that a, a geography thing, like where you live in the United States? And um, she said she grew up in Canada and called it pop. And then, um, but she's been living in the UK for a long time now where they call it fizzy drinks. I want to call it fizzy drinks. So I think I'm going to start calling it fizzy drinks for fun. I mean, that's way more fun than saying soda or pop. Um, Daydream Stitcher. Uh, she said that um, her mom, they're from um, Virginia, and they call it a soft drink. So there you go. And then Tanya said, um, when I was talking about how I like pie over cake, she's a cake girl. But Marie Callender's has a sour cream blueberry pie that's to die for. And I have never seen that. So I'm going to be on the lookout. Uh, my sister makes a sour cream apple that's delicious. So... I'm going to have to try to find that pie and try it. Uh, Just Stitchy said, uh, stuffing is in the bird and dressing is cooked separate. So she confirms with my uh, theory. And she says she was a picky eater too. And she just calls it Coke. <laughs> but my husband's a Coke fan and I'm a Dr. Pepper fan. So we usually have both. Um, she said her mom prefers pie too. And her sisters did a birthday for her where they had a bunch of different pies, but she was an ice cream cake girl. And her dad said, um, I guess he was a baker. He, she said, her dad said he was the only baker he knew that didn't have, that had to get his daughter an ice cream cake. <laughs> so that was cute. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate those. All right. Well, let's move on to stitching. I finished snow village this week i didn't stitch on anything else i was i had the bug i was bound and determined to get it finished and i got it finished i haven't fully finished it yet i just folded it and laid it on this board so it's not um ironed it's not attached it's nothing it's just temporary to show you but look i got it done i'm so excited and i was debating like should I mount it on here on this board which is really cute and I think I could put little white pom-poms around it put a bow on it or I think before I do that I'm going to take this into my work and have Sandy our framer give me ideas show me some frames because I might want to frame it professionally I haven't really decided yet but I did um finish it and um, it turned out really cute and fun. Um, I decided I'm not a huge fan of stitching all this white snow. It's not fun. That's I think, and then all the snowflakes because you have to like start and stop. But, um, I did change the cafe here to Quaid's Cafe and down here where it says menu, there was a bunch of lines on the pattern. I put my 20, my year 2020 on there. And then the house next to it, this says I, Iris Creamery for my grandkids. This writing on the houses and stuff 
is so wonky. I just, I really don't like it. I don't know if it's because I'm not, I need to realize this is supposed to be kind of whimsical and, and not perfect, but it's like, depending on where it lay falls, the white will either swallow it up or it will go crooked and it's really hard to get it to be even and consistent. I don't, maybe I don't know the trick. So I don't know. I'm not a fan of, of how the writing looks. I wish I could have just changed it to like regular cross stitch lettering, but it is cute and I am happy with it overall. So there's my snow village. I love it so much. <laughs> so I'll let you know next week what my plan is. Um, if I get to talk to the framer and have her show it to me, um, what it would look like with framing on it. So let me know your thoughts. If you think I should have it framed or do the finishing myself on that house. So I've been thinking about starting because I finished Snow Village, starting another project. I do have Kringles all kitted up, but I don't want to start something that big right now. Maybe I'll do the same thing and start that next year and do like a little bit every month or something like that. Spread it out over the year. I just kind of want to take a break from a really big project. Um, I do have kitted up all ready to go. Early Christmas morning by Blackbird Designs. My um, boss, Jean at the attic, She's doing hers on like 50 million count. <laughs> I think like 53 or 56 count. I don't remember which, but I think it was 56 count. Um, it's so little and adorable. And of course, Jean uses silks and it's gorgeous. I just love it. Um, mine will not be that little, but I was looking at fabric and I know that the lighting kind of messes with the fabric colors and the camera. So it might not be a great representation, but I have a piece of Fox and Rabbit 36 count Eureka. And I'm thinking that I might do it on this piece of fabric, on this piece of linen. It's super pretty. Um, and uh, so 36 count. I hope the color is showing up on here. It's got a little bit of light modeling and um, then I'm using pretty much the called for colors with it, except for tarnished gold. Uh, tarnished gold has been out of stock and we're have it on, we've had it on order for a while. So I'm not sure when it will come in. So I went online and I typed in, um, substitute for tarnished gold and it came up with, um, a classic color works color, but I didn't have that in my stash. And so then um, I pulled up a Weeks Dye Works. It said um, hazelnut is a substitute for that in Weeks Dye Works. So I got hazelnut and I might use that if, it, if Tarnished Gold doesn't come in stock before I'm ready to use it. But um, these are the colors. I think they're really pretty on this fabric, on this linen. So I think that I'm going to maybe start this. But my other thought was starting um, Frosty's Night Out. Where did I put that chart? I must have not brought it over. Um, so I might do an ornament instead. I still want to do some Christmas stitching. I don't know if I want to do any more Halloween stitching. So I might keep all my other whips um, until next year. Um, I haven't really decided. You know me, just kind of go with how I feel. Um, so that's my my plans. And I have some haul. Um, I'll show you a couple pieces. I got um, I got a bunch of prairie schooler patterns, and the glare might be bad on these, but um, I don't want to take them out. Uh, it's called Christmas Trees by Prairie Schooler. And... They're really cute. And I also got Christmas Eve. I saw this finished. Um, so a couple of people are stitching it and it's really adorable. So um, I hopefully you can see that. There's not too bad of a glare. Got that pattern. And then I ordered a couple of these little packs from Prairie Schooler, the little cards. And um, 
They're really cute. They have Christmas, they have Halloween in them, they have summer, they have Easter. And so um, I pulled a couple of cards from these packs and I wanted to offer those as a giveaway this week for Thanksgiving. So I have a uh, Prairie Schooler. It says Ba Ba Black Sheep. Have you, you know, the wool, the wool. I got that one. Little card. I have the Little Red Riding Hood. And the Three Little Pigs. And it says Wee on the top. <laughs> so if you would like a chance to win, um, I'm going to do one winner for all three. So if you would like to win these three as a set, I think they'd be really cute to stitch them like horizontally or vertically all together since they're all, you know, nursery rhymes. Or um, you can make pillows or whatever, but I think they would be cute stitched in a row. Or, in, or vertically all in one piece of fabric and hung in the nursery or grandkids room or if you have a little toy room or something for your grandkids or whatever. But otherwise you could just, I mean, there's millions of ideas of what you could do with these. So if you would like to win this uh, share, not giveaway for um, this week, uh, use the word, um, I know, use the word nursery rhyme. Tell me what your favorite nursery rhyme is. Uh, so if you say nursery rhyme, um, I will pull uh, those comments. So that will be our giveaway for next week. Um, I just wanted to thank you all so much. Um, I wanted to um, let you know that I'm thankful for a lot of things, for my family, for my work, um, for my friends. And I'm especially also thankful for you all. I really appreciate your comments, your kindness, and your support, and for watching me every week. And I never thought I would have as many subscribers as I do. And it really means so much to me that you care enough to tune in and to comment. So thank you so much. I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving this week and that you, um, are staying healthy and happy. So keep up the good stitching and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.